So after a very promising stretch of five straight wins where the Denver Broncos put themselves back in the playoff hunt, Denver has now lost two of their last three games with the most recent one on Saturday to the hands of the Detroit Lions. So during the biggest moment in the game in the third quarter with Denver trailing 28-7 and right at the Lions end zone, the Broncos had three straight possible touchdowns that were all overturned by the referee and ended with a heated moment with Sean Payne chewing out Russell Wilson on the sidelines. Many of the reports haven't explained why the incident occurred, but I've got a pretty good idea why Sean blew up at Russ. Anyways, I'll get into that in a bit, but in the meantime, here's a sequence of all the plays that happened on that one drive. Second down and goal. McLaughlin was the back. Russ. And caught by McLaughlin. Did he get across? And they say he is short. Knocked around like a pinball. Williams, Chapman a block. They can't hold him out, even though Barnes oh, came running. Short. Oh, the right at the goal line. How about the play by Barnes? That would look like he broke the plane. Russ Burton, that's a touchdown. But a flag's down. Now there is a very animated discussion right there. This sequence of plays was pretty frustrating to watch because Denver could have quite easily gotten back in the game if they had scored a TD. There was a lot of controversy surrounding the refs after they called back three touchdowns and Broncos head coach Sean Payne was at the center of all this drama because he did not once challenge any of these calls. The first one on second and goal, Jaleel McLaughlin caught a pass from Russ and looked to have broke the plane of the end zone after taking a couple knocks. However, the line judge ruled him short but video replay showed that it was much closer but it's quite possible there was no clear view of the football to overturn the decision. The next one on third down, running back Javante Williams got past the goal line, but the referees marked him short as his knee hit the turf before scoring. This one actually does look like the right call was made by the officials. It's very close, but I do think the refs got it right. But the last one had most fans pretty upset because after the Broncos scored, a flag was thrown for offside on Denver's right guard. You can see from the replay here and judge it for yourself. I think a lot of this was amplified after the Kadarius Tony offside incident last week as the league office probably told the referees to make all these calls. Anyways, here's Sean Payton in his post-game press conference talking about the whole bizarre series of plays and what led to him snapping on Russ on the sidelines. Um, there wasn't a lot positive for us in that game. Um, thought those guys did a real good job. The red area, third down. Um, really in all phases, so frustrating night. Um, it's, tough to, it's tough to have one of these nights. Obviously, there's a lot at stake, so any questions? Yeah, well, they were close. Uh, the problem is they were right at that. You know, when, when you start challenging spots, it becomes difficult. So the frustrating part of the sequence was the next run. So we'll leave it at that. Yeah, did you want to so that you could... No, the, I said the frustrating part of the sequence was the next play to Burton where we scored. Yeah, you were the side I was upset about the call. That's all. Simple. And you, and you were... That's it. No, I was upset at the call. Listen, what I talk with Russell about is none of your business. So yeah, that was Sean Payton's response. He briefly touched on the fact that with the team only having two timeouts left after birding one earlier in the half, challenging for a spot of the football became quite tricky. He then kind of got a little heated as reporters continued to press on the sequence of plays. But when asked about his interaction with Russ and if he was mad at him for not taking enough time to look at the play and challenge the call, Payton said that he was just upset with the call. Ultimately, this is why I think Sean lost it on Russell Wilson. Look at the time left before the snap of the football on third and fourth down. Russ pretty much rushed the snap with about 18 and 17 seconds left on the play clock respectively. And I'm not blaming Russell Wilson because they could have relayed that message to him from the sidelines to his earpiece, but I think Sean Payne knows he messed up huge and decided to blow up on Russ on national TV because he was steaming. This is obviously not a good look because you never as a coach or player show up your QB on the sidelines like that. It just doesn't look good. It's a cardinal sin, a rule number one, you never chance to have your quarterback. You never chance to have your quarterback in front of everybody. You always do it behind closed doors. You mm -hmm. whisper it or you, you, and you definitely don't do it on, on national television. And, and you, you don't, yeah, you definitely don't do it on national television.
But I don't know if he made but that's that's very strange to mm-hmm. see the head coach light mm-hmm. up the quarterback, a Russell right. Wilson type. Now we've seen right. him jump all over a uh, 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 Mullins, the guy that mm-hmm. was filled in for uh that uh, uh the backup in, in Minnesota. We've seen mm-hmm. him get on second, you know, second right. uh, a level, a third, you know, mm-hmm. third string quarterback, but right. never never the starter, especially mm-hmm. of that ilk. Right. And so right. for, for 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 that to happen, something had to seriously go wrong. 